Welcome to another pod time splitters and to the last pod, cl- the uh, story mode here. We have the docks, which is our, you know, second to last level. We have Jocks and we have Olga Storm. Uh, Jocks Misery. Okay, we leave. He just climbs up from the invisible roof. That's nice. What about you, Olga? Hang on, hang on. Oh, yeah, okay. Give me five. I'm guessing you're ready now? Okay. I'll do it. Okay. Uh, who are you calling? Not gonna tell me, huh? Making some reactions. Okay. Let's just gonna repeat now. So yeah. Let's go up Jocks for now. Docs. Uh it has its moments. But it's not terrible. You have to know what you're in for for this one in order to get through this. And uh, considering I'm playing blind, that means I had to uh, figure that out pretty much blindly. And that's sad. But, you know, I can manage. So, in order to get through this, we'll be using the sniper rifle a little bit. Well, actually, using the machine gun. The sniper rifle is only for this first bit. Because we have to, you know, shoot this guy in the head. Then get his gun. Then we can actually move on forward. Because we're not using the sniper rifle, we're using the assault rifle. You might notice there's some guys throwing grenades. And uh, you might notice there's a sniper rifle above us as well. You just gotta keep your eye on things, because uh, there's a few sneaky bastards around here that will snipe you without you even realizing it. Like, right now. There's one guy right there. There's a guy right over here. There's some people up on these, uh, very high spots, which I have no idea how they really got up there. But they're there, and they will snipe me. And yeah, there's also this, these little rooms here, which, uh, don't really have anyone in them, but... Emmys might spawn about here if they wanted to. Yeah, there's one guy up there, see? Another guy up there as well, I believe. But, uh... Yeah, the main thing here is that the exit's over there. On the other side of these crates. But we can't get to it until we get the item. And then get to the area. It gets worse, though. There's turrets around here. At least two of them. Now... I'm going to use my machine gun for this one, but I would recommend, because you still have your pistol when you begin, use the pistol. I mean, yeah, use the sniper rifle as well, but it's a bit harder to really shoot them with a sniper rifle compared to a pistol. So go for the pistol. And around this corner, there should be some, uh, you know, more ammo and such. The game here does not go nice with you on health or armor at this point. There is one instance of armor in this area, in this entire level. And that's it. It's just a whole barrage of enemies, a lot of gunfire, one half piece of armor. And you kind of just have to uh, keep yourself alive as best as possible. The turrets will fuck you if you don't get rid of them immediately. So shoot them down immediately when you see them. Be careful around corners because enemies can be easily hiding around this level. And it can be a bit of annoyance. Here's the exit. I have to pick up the ransom pickup and get back here. So I cleared out the way for me to get around. So now I need to actually get the pickup. Also, I heard someone shooting at me. So yeah, th this one is, uh... It's fine. It has its moments. That's all I can tell you. And its moments are more to do with when we get to the pickup item. I mean, yeah, there's also sniper guys. Those are a moment as well, and they can be pricks, but, uh... 
You can hear that, right? Someone's shooting at me. Can you figure out who it is? Yeah, he's right there. See? It's kind of hard to see the enemy, isn't it? When they're up there. Game loves keeping them up there, these sniper bastards. And they will fuck me. They, they will fuck you pretty badly. Um, but if you know their locations 100%, which requires some very good memory, um, you can easily get rid of them immediately before they become a problem. Anyway, shotgun time. There's some health. That's the only time you get health, and it's only an easy. The armor is a consistent thing. The armor will always be there. But the hell, not so much. And yeah, you're using the shotgun to get through these guys. See, there's the armor. And there's the pickup item, and here comes the splitters. So now we gotta run past all this bullshit, get to the exit, and we're done. There's nothing else to this, honestly. Pretty simple. And with that, we're done. No enemies spawn at the second half of this. However, that's only an easy. In medium and hard, they're kind of the same. I mean, they add more enemies in hard, obviously, but... They're kind of the same in what you do to get through this. For that one, you have your health pick up and you're fine for the most part. But, as we'll see in medium... Not the case. Not the case. It, uh... Becomes more troubling, to say the least. But now I know the map layout and what I'll be expecting with the turrets and such. So all I have to really do here is just get rid of the one guy, get the assault rifle, and then go guns blazing on assholes of that. Again, you won't really use sniper rifle that much in this game. It is one of the most useless guns in the game. Because Time Splits is a game that's all about fast movement and fast shooting. And the rifle does not help there. Also, no guy there. You wanna know why? He's right over there, waiting for you. And there's that guy waiting for you as well. Also, more guys throwing grenades at you to just make it even more fun. As you can see, this is a lot more hectic than, uh, you know, easy was. And as you can see, the sniper guys are more of a problem, too. So you gotta remember where they are, at the very least, and take them all down before they really wreck you. Because they can easily do that. Their aim is actually surprisingly good, too. Anyway, we got a deal. I'll look around here, there's nothing. There's gonna be a turret on the other side of that hallway area. I have to go around and shoot it down. Then we can go forward, go up the stairs, get the item. Or we can go forward and clean up all the area over to the exit, which is what I always end up doing. Uh, for you, you'll obviously be going through and not doing that. If you want to get through this fast, but um... Me? I prefer the safe route of kill all the enemies first, clearing out the exit, come back, get the item, then I just have time for this to There's no guns blazing on my ass. I just have to rush through and get to the exit with my item against time splitters. There's no guys with shotguns and machine guns chasing me down. And no snipers. Also, no turret waiting for me near the end, too. The turret will probably be the most annoying part. 
But yeah, as you can see, my health isn't doing too good. It's on some bad red. And these guys, these guys love to hide around corners. So check every single corner. There are spots with no enemies spawn, but even then, just check it because, yeah, th this, this level makes you really look around. Yeah, around here, one thing to get this turret. There's being a guy around on that corner there. Gotta be careful. Okay, of that. There's a guy behind me, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So, go forward. We should be fine. Yep. There's the exit. Now that it's all cleared out, I don't see any enemies around there. Uh, let's just go on forward and get the item. With. A quarter of my health, less than a quarter, really, of my health. Th this is what you'll be expecting throughout this. You know, your health isn't going to be in great condition, but you got to punch on through of it. You know. Alright, let's see what we got here. That's right, more enemies. We're shotguns too. And I fell. Now I have to go all the way back. I don't see any enemies around here, so we're good. There's no easy way to get back upstairs here, which kind of sucks. Anyway, you know what we have to do. Get the shotgun, go crazy. And as you just saw, that was ammo now, not health. So, yeah, we're really low on health around here. And there's going to be a lot of guys shooting at me. You can even hear it. Alright, get rid of him. Oh shit, I'm nearly dead. Pretty sure, like one or two more shots, and I'm done. Thank God for this armor here. Yeah, this is kind of norm. You get kind of reliant on the armor pieces more than the health if you have no health around. And it's just like, it becomes your only bit of health left, really. And I fell here, so now I have to go the long way around. I mean, to be fair, it's not that long. In fact, I think it's actually shorter than going the normal way, but, uh... You know. As you can see, they're spawning the time splitters right near the exit now, so... Now you're starting to get the gist of what this map's gonna be like on hard. And in hard, it's no different to what you just saw here on medium. It's just more enemies, more grenades, uh, another sniper around, um, more guys with guns. Again, no health, but there is that armor there. That's your only piece of healing. And yeah, like right off the bat, it's gonna be grenaders just coming at me from the very beginning, so... You have to start moving and start shooting that sniper rifle immediately to get rid of these assholes. So yeah, sniper rifle and hard is uh, a waste. Don't use it. So, let's go. Okay, so I'm going right off the bat here. Got my pistol. Use the pistol instead of sniper rifle for this shit. Honestly, just use the pistol. Alright, and go crazy with these assholes with your assault rifle. Be careful with grenades. Once they're down, take care of the assholes above you that are sniping at you. Check them around these little spots and also on the crates. Kill any guys that might be flopping around the corner to, uh, you know... Get you when you're not noticing. Yeah, there was one guy right fucking there too. 
You see what I mean with the snipers? They, they get you. And they're kind of hard to see, too. So you, you kind of get fucked because of that. You just you just can't really see them that well. Get rid of the turret. There's be another guy popping around the corner to come get me in the hallway, maybe. If not, that's fine. Yeah, use the pistol. It's kind of less wasteful to use the pistol. I'll take care of these guys. Just go on forward, take care of the enemies around here. I can get rid of the turret too. There's a lot of enemies coming for you around here. You can see why I choose to do it this way, because if you do it the other way, you have to fight time splitters and guys with guns at the same time. You just get the item first. Clearing the way is the more safer option. Also, this turret here will be a problem as well. There's a guy right behind me here. See? And yeah, right there too. Okay, now around here, we should be safe. Okay. Now then, let's go get our item. We have a lot more health than we did beforehand because I actually took some cover, which you'll be doing a lot, and, uh, you know, actually acted pretty smart. If you're speedrunning this game, by the way, you're never doing this. You are never choosing safe options. You're going in risky. Like, you know what you're doing with that. You know your pathway, you know who to shoot at what timing and shit. You kind of have to. You, you can't be safe with this game when you're doing speed running. See? See how that motherfucker got me? You, you gotta, you gotta be careful, those sneaky bastards. To be fair, hard disk gives you some really sneaky motherfuckers, and. Uh, they will jump at you when you're not realizing it. But, again, I got the salt shot right shotgun now, so everything should be pretty much the same as it is. Just more enemies coming for me. It's good thing their reload sound is like an indicator of when they're gonna pop up. That helps. Yeah, thank God for this uh, normal shot thing, which goes direct for them. That's useful as all hell. Okay, so now it's just time splitters, so I can just get for the level now. It's funny how the time splitters are just never the real risk for the most part, except for the first level. Like, every other time, it's the guys with guns, but here, it's just, it's like in Tomb, it was just the time splitters for the most part getting the fuck out of there. Whereas here, and if you're at a level, the time splitters have been of no real issue. It's everyone else that's the issue. And there you go. Okay, so now, now it's time for the final level of story mode. Yep, we're now at the final level. There's only nine in total when it comes to story mode, so it's a short one, and it's not really a story, because there is no story. But, you know. We now have uh, the final level, which is the last future level, 235 Spaceways. And our character for Spaceways is going to be R108 and Gretel. Is R108. Just rebuilding himself. He's online. And here's Gretel. And yeah, they're robots. So your final characters are robots. And uh, there are time splitters here, but they're not a problem either. They're very small in number. Your main problem is going to be getting to the item. There are no healing items 
at all in this fall level. No armor, no health packs. It's just guns. A lot of guns. Hope you're good at shooting, because you're going to be doing a lot of shooting. There's going to be turrets around. There's going to be more fucking robot bastards to shoot at. It's going to get kind of intense. Except this is actually not that hard of a level to get through. You have your sci-fi auto rifle here, which uh, you'll be using. And I mean... As you can see, it starts off a really nice looking level, and then you get forward in, and... Yeah, here's your guy. You remember this gun, right? It shoots out a big, like, explosive volley when you use one type of shot, and then it's an actual machine gun prototype. You're not really going to be using the explosive type much. You're going to mainly be using the machine gun. There's also the ray gun carbine, that's back to... Yeah, this is just sort of the uh, space where this is the final level of the game. After this, we just have challenge mode and multiplayer. Much like Quake, Time Splitters 1 is not known for being a uh, single player experience. Time Splitters 1 is more fondly remembered for being a multiplayer experience for the most part. That's what it's always been advertised for. That's what it's always touted itself for, for being a, a very fun multiplayer experience. With the uh, Golden Eye controls and all. Also, yeah, no turret. This is where you'll be using your actual um, fucking explosive ammo on it. You're actually using the explosive ammo on the turrets, not really the enemies. Because it destroys the turrets in one hit, really. So, it's much more useful there. We got the ray gun now, which we won't be using. As you see, there are two turrets right off the door. These turrets will always appear. This is easy, by the way. Got the rocket launcher now. There's uh, two more turrets around here. Yeah, five turrets and easy. Yeah, it's it's kind of a medium ground of this one on easy. So, if you're a newbie and you, you don't have no real skills, time splitters, golden eye, or whatever, and uh, you know, you're new to these sort of games and you don't know what to expect, easy can still give you some trouble. As you go on through, it can still give you some trouble, but uh, ultimately, it's not that bad. Oh, yeah, the item is right around here. There it is. Got it. And now we got the final time splitters. As you can see, they're a little annoying. But they're not that bad. And yeah, I'm going back to look for help. This is when I realize there is no help. Remember, I'm playing this blindly. I have no idea what to expect. So I'm going around, looking around the level, trying to find any health kit or whatever. Because I am low on health, but I don't want to get fucked here. As you'll see, there is no health. Not even out here at the starting area. Yeah, and as you can see, it only really spawns three time splitters at once at you. Otherwise, if you have three time splitters chasing you the entire time, no time splitters actually teleport in front of you at all. So if you keep these three time splitters alive and you don't shoot them, you just run away from them, they'll chase you down, but no more will spawn. When you realize that, the time splitters are of no real threat to you compared to every other enemy. 
and yeah. With that, we can now leave. It's right here in the rocket. Now, believe it or not, when you actually beat the final level of story mode, you get the credits. We're not ready for the credits yet, though. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip it, because I'm not going to waste your time. We have challenge mode now. Challenge mode is now unlocked to us. And I'll show that off next part. But right now, let's finish our story mode in normal and hard with Gretel and our 108. The sad part is that the final level does not have any changes. You just saw everything. When it comes to enemy layout, it's always the same. However, Miam does give you one little trick. Just one. Outside of a bit more to go for at the start, a bit more enemy fire, like at the very beginning. Another thing is more turrets. Because there's going to be a turret behind you at one point, and there's going to be two turrets above you and behind you. That's the real dick part that Miam gives you. But after that, eh, hard is just the exact same, really. You could, like, combine medium and hard for this level together, and you'll barely find a difference. You'll barely find a difference at all. They're very much similar as all hell. And uh, it's kind of disappointing in that regard. So yeah, this was story mode of Time Splitters. And as you can tell, it is the worst story mode of all three Time Splitters games because it's. It's not really a story mode. It's just more like one type of gameplay goal, which is grab item and get the exit for every single one of these. And that's it. It's just like you get the item, get the exit, and that's the that's gist of it. The levels and what you have to do and shit are great. I actually think the turret is in the hard. No, wait. It is here in medium. See? That was the that was the behind one. The behind and above you one is not far away from here. It's down that big open air where the rocket is. So there's the two turrets right in front of us. Gotta get rid of them. The turrets are the real problem, really. And then above me and up behind me here are two more turrets shooting at me. I don't immediately realize this. But then I go around, and I do. Those are all the turrets of the entire level. Sans one. Except for one turret. This turret is the only time hard mode is a dick. Just kidding, it's right here. It's a rocket launcher turret. Yeah. The, all the turrets are here. Including the one at the very exit to fuck you up. And that's it, really. Hard is the exact same as medium. I really don't think medium and hard are at all different in any way, shape, or form. I believe wholeheartedly that they are the exact same. So... 
yeah. I was able to actually do this level without restarting once. This is the first and only story mode level where I did not fail. Yeah, it's... It's that easy. So let's just get this out of the way. Unlock our final lockable from story mode. And then I can shove a little bit more things from the side before we end this part with you knowing that next part we're doing challenge mode. Which is... When it comes to time splitters, where the real meat of the game is when it comes to single player, where the real, like, bullshit is. Because you go through story mode, you go through it hard, you get it all done, you go fast, get your big speed run time out of the way if you wanted to, you know. It's all fairly fine and simple, really. You're not gonna think too hard on it. Yeah, there's a bit more enemies around here at the start, but they're not a problem, really. After that, it's... Can you really say that there's any difference after that beginning bit there with hard? They kind of shot their load a bit with medium here. Also, there is something around here that I didn't really get. Uh, it's around right by this ramp, really, like right over here. Yeah, there's a guy there. That's it. Do you really care? Okay, so what? What else should I say? Oh yeah, challenge mode. Challenge mode is where you really get to test your patience and your skills. You get through story mode, you get through all the hard shit on that, you unlock everything, you know, good for you. You have only completed quite possibly some of the easiest shit in the game. You have completed, quite honestly, Maybe a few levels in hard that are like the fourth or third hardest, maybe, in total. Challenge mode is an asshole. If you want to know how to make a real challenge mode, like how to make that name actually make sense. Look at Time Splitters. Look at every Time Splitters game. And look at their challenge modes. Now, with Time Splitters 1, you just have to actually beat the challenge. That's it. With Time Splitters 2 and 3, there are requirements that we need to be in order to fully hunt at the game. And they are far worse than what I have to deal with the Time Splitters 1. Far fucking worse. What we're doing over here in Time Splitters 1 is a, a taste test of challenge mode compared to what we're experiencing with 2 and 3. You are going to outright hate challenge mode. As have I. Especially of Time Splitters 2. There is no other game with a challenge mode in it that I hate more than Time Splitters 2. And the reason for that is very simple and understandable. Right. Now it's time to get the item here, complete the level, and we're done. And did you notice anything different? 
she notice anything really different with this compared to medium? Did she notice anything harder about it? I didn't. Yeah, I lost a bit more health than before. Because everybody hits you harder in hard compared to medium, but it, it didn't really change, did it? It, it was kind of the same shit. Anyway, let's go to the exit and end this already. Okay, so that, ladies and gentlemen, was story mode of Time Splitters 1. It's not really a story. There isn't really a story at all. But it was fun. I enjoyed it. We unlocked another cheat. We unlocked an arcade bot. Another playable character. You know, we unlocked a whole bunch of stuff here, and that's cool. But now, the easy shit's out of the way. Story mode is always going to be the easy shit. We also got Emmy Rockets now. That's neat. I'm not really going to show off the cheats. But I am going to show off what we have in multiplayer now. I'll go through all the multiplayer in the last part. But... The main problem... Is going to be... Challenge mode. There are nine challenges in this game's challenge mode, and there are three variants for each challenge. Going from A to C, we are going to be completing every single one of these. Now luckily, there is no such thing as a bronze, silver, gold, or platinum. There will be in 2 and 3, but there isn't in Time Splitters 1. It's just completing the challenge. So, in that regard, there's only one record to really aim for, and that's to beat it as fast as possible, or as, as much as possible, whatever. But it is to complete the challenge, with the requirement they give you. You don't have to exceed that. So there's Behead the Undead, taking out 50 heads of zombies, there is a uh, two-way, let's see, 50 zombies in two minutes, by the way. It's timed. Flock around the clock. Bag a hundred ducks in five minutes. And the Tin Man Trial. In one minute, keep the brain in the box and, you know, stay alive of it for one minute. We'll be doing all of this, all of challenge mode, next time in Time Splitters. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you then for the real meat of Time Splitters as a whole, really. Thanks for watching.